Hey team, welcome to Rhythmizer Fusion. We've been working on this one for ages and I'm really excited about it. We've got some cool new step sequencer options. We added a wild new randomizing arpeggiator. We've made it even more solid for real-time jamming. And we've added a new glitch engine. We've added some killer new features, kept the interface pretty clean. And we've also been honing in the randomness a little bit. So one thing that came up with Ultra, sometimes it could be almost too random, like it could be a bit too difficult to get actual usable results. So with with Miser Fusion, we've worked on honing that in and making it more customizable, more musical, and a little bit more regular. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try to move quite quickly through the features because we do have detailed explanations on all of these sections. So quick recap, um, up until now, Rhythmizer has always been monophonic input, which means you press one note, and Rhythmizer is gonna generate notes based on that. Using built-in scales or custom scales, etc. Now we have the poly tab, where you can play in your own chord sequences. It's basically a souped up randomizing arpeggiator. And we can blend between arpeggiation and chord triggers. Let's take a look at some of the features. Okay, I've got this chord sequence over here. All right, let's start with the updated direction control. We can be random, we can be up, up and down, or just down, or we can dial in some randomness to either of those directions. So this is up with 25% randomness. We can extend up the keyboard. So it's deriving all of these notes just from our input triads. We can bring the chance down, which will be forcing just the lowest note of whatever chord sequence you're playing. So that could be like your bass line. And then we can introduce notes at random. Over here we have the octave spread, so we can throw some random octaves in. We can even go up to two octaves. Let's keep it simple for now. And you're probably wondering what this little crossfader is. That's our new fusion fader. So if I start moving that over, we start getting full chord sequences. And these are also extending upwards. Bring the chance knob down and we're getting just the input basic chord. Again, we can start introducing sort of movement there. And these also come up or down. And once we're triggering chords, again, I'll just keep it simple. We can use a spread control to increase the distance between the notes. We can use a flux control to randomize the distances between those notes. It's basically just randomizing all of the intervals there. And we can use a scatter control to offset the notes very slightly, like a slowly played piano chord. We can use the poly control to limit the amount of notes being triggered. So we could have a chord of just two notes. Now it's just two notes. But we can also extend our chords, make them actually denser, more polyphonous.
and we can get pretty extreme there. Or we can just keep it simple with some arpeggiation. Bring in our other synth. Now again, also in this YouTube playlist, we do a deep dive on this poly section. For now, let's head to our rhythm tab and check out the new glitch control. All right, next up, I wanna show you the new glitch feature. Really excited about this one. This is taking over from what used to be the pitch hang buttons, which were in this area. I'm just triggering some drums here. Now let's dial in a bit of randomization. So this top knob is the glitch dry wet. So now we're just getting occasional glitches. And the and the intensity is, is the actual intensity of the glitchiness. I'll turn the dry wet right up. You see, as I turn the intensity up, we're going to start getting 30 second notes, different kinds of repeats. And then we can bring that dry wet back down again. So the more occasional glitches. We can look at a bit more of a sort of intense version of this. So I've got a very regular drum bass pattern, kind of keeping it solid under the glitchiness. And then I've got my glitchy drum kit. I'm actually choosing between many different drum kits. And we've got some music on top. Let's take both the glitch controls and the loop knob for a ride. Also, for anyone new to Rhythmizer, don't forget that you can use a bend mode to send out pitch bend data. And this will actually be bending samples after the loop knob. Okay, next up, I want to show you some cool changes we've made to the step sequencer. Now, you might remember this project from our previous videos. So here we've just got the velocity linked to the filter in Diva. Let's just put that away for now. Now the first thing I want to point out is that individual steps on the step sequencer are now probability controlled. So you can just have them 100% full or you can start bringing down the possibility that any step is going to happen at all. So on these steps here, you might get a trigger, you might not. Let's fill that up. But if you were to alt click, then we start seeing these cool purple triangles. And on these steps, it's going to force the input note. That is the note that we are sending to Rhythmizer, right? So in this case, it's D sharp two, our tracks in D sharp two. So on these notes, irregardless of what's happening in our scale section, right? We're sort of overriding that. 
these steps will now play D sharp too. I'm gonna bring the gate down a little bit. So we could even have like mostly a uh, root note. And just have melodies on some steps. And we have another little trick here. So if you shift click on any step, what that's going to do is it's going to force this bass groove to happen. Right? So if I was to turn up this groove now up here, that's going to mean we're going to get mostly eighths. I'll turn this up as well so we'll get a mixture of eighths and, and 30 seconds. We won't be getting any of these, right? Because we've turned these up to like 100%. All right, so getting mostly eight. Now I'm going to add some force bass groove steps here. So now these blue steps are kind of anything steps. But we could, for instance, add some force input note steps here. And we can control the probability of any of these steps happening. So we have that nice mixture now of randomness where you want it, but control on other steps where, where you want to have more of like a repeating groove or a custom groove. After quite some time in development, I really am excited to share this new version of Rhythmizer, Rhythmizer Fusion with you guys. We've listened to your advice, we've added a whole bunch of stuff, taken a few things out, and yeah, I think, I think we've honed in that kind of perfect blend of, of random and controllable so that you can customize your grooves, you can customize your melodies, but, but inject that randomness in, in a more controlled way. I honestly can't wait to hear what kind of crazy magic you guys come up with with this one. So enjoy it, keep rocking, speak soon, bye.